All right, we are back here at the RC Surf Shop, better known as my dinner table, with the Ishi uh, Racer 250. We've done some mods to it, day three. Put some lights on it. I also put some legs on it. These are the uh, Wakara Runner 250 legs, and basically. I have uh, basically just hot glued them on. Pretty simple, just a little bit of hot glue. And absolutely very happy with it. Also, I can move the battery now underneath, actually, much better. And it uh, you can balance your quad much easier. I think I got balance here, let's see. So it's hard to get to. something else see. All right you get the idea it's very easily to adjust it it's pretty balanced so I just extended the, uh, the cord also the power cord and uh, run it underneath it's connected underneath you can put up to a 2200 here uh, I put a light kit underneath there if I didn't put a light kit go even bigger I do it again. I'd probably move the arms a little more square and farther away, but they work just fine the way I have it set up. And I'm very pleased with it. Uh, landings are much easier, uh, safer. Um, I was getting a, a good rub every time I was landing here, so these were like five bucks at the local hobby store. I got this light kit it was a DJI 550 light kit for 23 bucks, and it had six, uh, three red, three greens. Has the whole switch and buttons to mess with it. So I'll put it in here. So I still have two on two uh, strips that I didn't even use yet. So that was a good deal. That was a local hobby shop, uh, Maniac Hobbies in uh, Plantation. I just did this today. I used a little surgical tape just to keep all the wires all clean. Surgical tape to um, just cover the receiver wires so it's just as clean as possible. A little bit of a little bit of scotch tape to keep the um already adhesive uh, LEDs on. But uh, as for just took it out uh, a few minutes ago to the park at night and for a line of sight it's much easier to fly. It was pretty fun and handled well. So I got uh, the switch working for the light and also got three position switch for now I have three different modes. Um, playing with the different modes and going to learn more. And uh, let's see, my RX I ordered off eBay is coming in. Uh, shipped out the day before Thanksgiving, so it should be here. We're saying Tuesday, and I'm still waiting for Hobby King to ship out my Quantum V2s. And I should get that before the weekend as well, so I'm really excited. A friend of mine's going to um, come by with a. Uh, monitor or receiver so we're going to test it out that too anything good i'll post a video and uh, here i'll take it for a little spin here so you can see the lights And once again, I can cycle through different light colors if I want. Uh, no, no lights, which is nice too. Sometimes, it's nice to have as a backup. I like blue. And uh, let's go. Let me plug in here. I'm lazy. I have to lean on my transmitter. Right. This is in my flight mode one, which is the Softest one, I guess. You must know. Alright, this is mode 
too. A little bit snappier. Supposedly. Oh, I guess it is. This is the snappiest. That's an inside. Yeah. Going back to mode one. Oh. Try to turn the light off, but I'm not so sure that's going to be a good idea. Let's see. There we go. Not an indoor living room flyer. It's fun. It's very responsive. It handles good. It was windy tonight. It's still holding its own. And um, definitely a great little quad. I love the legs. Great addition. All right, that was a one-handed. I'm gonna land it now. Nice throttle cloud, nice linear throttle curve. Super smooth landing. And again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and any questions or comments. Um, this Wakara runner legs are uh, are definitely a nice addition. They come out, they also have holes in them, so they're pretty aerodynamic. And Great little quad. Can't wait to get by your uh, quantum B2s. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.